What is up guys, welcome back to another video and today, yes today, the day we put fish in the new 180 gallon aquarium. The arowana, the two peacocks, and the catfish. See once the catfish gets big enough and once the peacocks get big enough, the tiger shovel nose is actually going to come in here and um, probably take over because he's going to be one of the biggest fish in here and as you can see from my last video I put the plant in the ground and I put something at the bottom of the aquarium so that the catfish can hide it. Alright, so let's get straight into it. Let's start acclimating the peacock bass and the catfish at the same exact time and then after that we're going to acclimate the arowana. So here we go. I pray to God that the arowana doesn't jump out. Oh, I forgot we're gonna acclimate the guard too. I'm probably gonna do a short acclimation since all these fish are a little bit stressed out and it's the same exact water that they're in right now. Just a little bit of a water change so you don't wanna stress them out or accidentally shock them. So here we go. The first four fish to go in, right there. I'm gonna bring you guys to the tank so you can see them a little bit better. Look at that. I'll give you guys a better look in a second, but let me place this right here. As you can see, the alligator gar is the top one right there, and then that's the peacock bass with the three barred lines. There's two of those. The other one has his face stuck at the bottom because the catfish. But the catfish is right there, and both of the peacock bass and the alligator gar. They're gonna be really cool in here. I'm gonna leave them to acclimate for probably 10 to 15 minutes, and then after they're done, I'm gonna put the arowana in the same exact bag. Hopefully he does not mess around too much and jump or whatever. And no, this is not the last look that you're gonna get at the aquarium. I'm probably gonna have a few big pieces of driftwood inside of here, and then also some more caves and stuff like this so that the fish can hide. And then once the tiger shovel nose comes in here, another place for him to hide, a bigger place. And so I noticed that the temperature difference was a little bit larger than I thought it was. So I'm gonna go ahead, this water that's already in here is from the tank, and then this water was from the 75 gallon. I'm gonna put the air wand inside of here. I want him to have a little bit more space when he's acclimating so that he doesn't get as stressed out as if he would if he was in a smaller bag. He like wanted to go in the net, I don't know why. It's weird, he literally swam into the net. I'm sure you guys saw it though. But let's put this over the top of it, and bring it over by the big tank. Alright guys, so it has been a tremendous amount of time for these fish to be in here. They should be perfectly acclimated. It's probably been, I don't know why it always happens, but I always get sidetracked when I'm acclimating my fish. I know it doesn't look as fun right now, even though the gar looks fun right now. These guys are gonna be big one day. I cannot wait till they're about six inches. That's the size that they're gonna get really aggressive. The catfish, he's already an aggressive little catfish, but once he gets a little bit bigger, that's gonna be absolutely awesome. I'm gonna love having this catfish inside of the fish tank. It is gonna be beautiful to have everything in here. Now I'm gonna be getting the air one out of the bucket. I'm gonna put him in here. Oh. One thing that you guys have to know about these before you get them, when they're small, they take a tremendous amount of effort to keep them alive because they are a very, very easy fish to kill when they're small. You guys do not want to get this fish right here. The arowana, silver arowana, or any type of arowana, even an Asian arowana, you do not want to get one of those when you're beginning in the fish keeping. And the reason for that is, it's not an easy fish to take care of like a red-tailed catfish because they will literally eat anything and they're a very strong fish. Same with the peacock bass and the gar that's in here. The arowana is a lot different than every single other fish that is in here. I'm gonna get you guys back in the morning. I'll talk to you guys more about the fish and you guys will see the tank when it is actually a lot more clear than it is right now. What is up guys? It is the next morning. 
and I got some minnows or mosquito fish for the peacock bass that are inside of this tank right here. And we're going to be feeding them and then I'm going to be talking about the fish tank and maybe I'll put some more caves in there so if the catfish doesn't want to just sit in the small one that's in the middle that he could come up into the side and also the other side. But let's get straight into it. Feed the little peacock bass, the minnows that are right here because one of them does not like to eat tilapia but the other one will. I didn't know if the arowana was ready to eat yet because he's still fat from when I fed him yesterday before I switched them around. Hopefully the mosquito fish don't go over to the other side of the tank or else you guys are not going to be able to see it. But I'll try to grab the camera fast enough so you guys can see it if they do. As you just saw, oh, the other one absolutely destroyed him and the guard just got one. What I wanted to show you guys, he knows it's coming. That, did you guys even see that? He knows it's coming. That, did you guys even see that? Did you even see him eat that? What? It happened so fast. And the big minnows that are in here, the guard is probably going to get because these little peacocks probably cannot fit it and the arowana is not aggressive enough. I've never seen him eat even one minnow. Oh, 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 oh. He's chasing him around. That was weird. They usually don't eat the big minnows. Look at the gar. He has a minnow inside of his mouth right now. <laughs> and now these minnows are from the big pond after I get done feeding the fish over there. I just grab a few of the minnows because there's like literally a million. And I don't think this is going to do anything to the population by taking about 10 each time I do it which is like every other day. And now I'm gonna head outside and get whatever we need to make the fish caves for this tank, which I'm probably gonna get some rocks and also some stones or flat rocks like this one that we can make little caves out of. And then the rocks are gonna be used to make it look a lot more natural than it would be if it was just rocks and then just straight sand. All right, so I have a whole bunch of smaller rocks and then I'm gonna grab a little bit bigger ones like this to go above them around the cave. You'll see what I'm doing. A lot of you probably don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm just gonna grab a whole bunch of these smaller ones, put them inside of there. And just like that, we have everything that we need. We have these corner rocks right here, which are gonna be standing up most likely like that or something. There's two of those. And then we have the rest of these, the one, two, three, four, five, five other rocks to cover up and um, probably go on top of these and then these bigger rocks are going to go around it and the smaller rocks are going to fade it into the sand right down there. But now you're going to see what it looks like with the smaller rocks. Look at that. The fish cave goes all the way back into there. You got one plant right there, one plant right there, and then the smaller rocks fade in. You can see some along right there, and also the plant in the smaller cave where the catfish is at right now. He is definitely going to like that right there. Oh my. Look at that. So this is what the 180 gallon looks like right now but I'm obviously probably gonna get a few smaller pieces of driftwood, maybe put one right there and up in that corner. Who knows? Really? Whiskey. As you can see, the little peacocks are fat. Hey, Whiskey, Brownie, come on, chill out. Look at that, the arowana looks gorgeous in here too. Look at the gar, cause he ate a minnow. You guys do not understand unless you have seen a 180 gallon tank this thing looks a lot bigger in person. Six feet long, and then like 32 inches tall, and then also 18 and a half inches wide.
again from the back side this is what the cave looks like obviously it doesn't look good from this side but no one's going to be viewing the tank from that side unless you right when you walk in my room that's what you're going to see right there but that still looks pretty cool especially if the catfish was back there it would look awesome imagine him just chilling right there just cruising around and then possibly just swimming right out that would look really cool so the whole tank looks absolutely amazing my room looks a lot better with this in here other than the 75 gallon this does look a little bit better since it takes up a little bit less space so i have more room to walk right here and film in this area but the tank is absolutely massive and this is where i'm going to end off today's video i want to thank all of you guys for watching and if you have not already you guys have made it to the end and you have not subscribed yet i don't even know what you guys are thinking so go down below smash the subscribe button and also Put your post notifications on so you guys can see my videos when they first come out before anyone else and you can tell everyone about the video coming out. And um, yeah, that's where I'm going to end off. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all in my next video.